Sir, how much longer do we have to put up with these amateurs? Hi, my name is Tim Benison and I'm the executive producer of Prototype. And today, this video is going to be showing you some of the varied mission types in this over-the-top action game. I mean, over-the-top action is the key vibe about Prototype, and we need some over-the-top missions to go along with that. So the first type of mission we're showing here is a rescue mission, which involves a chase, and it shows uh, Alex's locomotion abilities going after this uh, leader hunter. It's a major chase through much of Manhattan and you really got to keep on your toes to keep up with them. Now one of the cool things about this, this chase is you've got the military after you as well and they finally catch up to both you and the leader hunter and there's this giant battle in the streets of New York against some pretty heavily mutated creatures. So we end, we end the, the rescue scenario with some heavy combat that shows off some of Alex's attack abilities. You see him doing the uh, giant karate chop move with the blade arms, which is one of the attack powers. The cool thing about these, these brawler hunters is they can actually throw stuff at you. Now the next mission type, we're showing some of Alex's stealth consuming abilities here. He's trying to get into a military facility here and he needs to assume the uh, identity of a soldier. And here he's doing the patsy move. Once he's inside the military base, he can actually fake that uh, another soldier is actually Alex Mercer and get the AI to take out an enemy. Now he's trying a more direct approach here to get access to the commander. The commanders have special abilities like artillery strikes. Here we're going to destroy a base, which is one of the objectives of this mission, by using the artillery strike ability of the commander. So the next mission type we're showing here is Disable. Now the military has deployed this new technology through the city to try and take out some of the infected, and you're trying to destroy them. Now the cool thing about this mission is it shows how we've designed many of the scenarios in the game to really set up a general scenario and then let the player decide how to solve the, the objectives. You've got all these tools at your disposal in the abilities that Alex Mercer has. And we found that the strongest missions in our game were the ones that let the player decide how to approach each particular problem. So you see all the varied techniques that the player is using to take out these different pieces of equipment here. It's amazing the variety of gameplay we get out of this kind of mission design. The next mission type is Protect, and this is Dr. Raglan, one of the major allies of Alex Mercer, and he okay. must protect Raglan at this part of the story. He can't let anything into that glass chamber. So he's using every firearm at his disposal, every ability at his disposal against some mutated hordes that are coming in from all directions, even, even from the ceiling. So uh, this is a pretty furious fight inside a contained environment. It really sets off the combat in the game. The next mission type is Infiltrate. In this case, you have to infiltrate a rooftop where some guards are guarding a transport helicopter. And you've got to get in there without causing any combat because the copter will be destroyed. You have to play the role of the transport pilot because you're trying to get to a briefing at the end of the mission where some key information is going to be uh, relayed to you. So you've got to fly in deep inside an infected zone and you, you're basically engaging in combat with uh, infected hives and you've also got to uh, deploy and pick up various squads of Black Watch soldiers in combat zones. But there's a disruption in the form of a bunch of hydras which are some of the largest infected enemies. And you have to battle them before you can pick up the soldiers. So here you've got this giant scene of helicopter combat. You can see that these enemies are capable of anti-aircraft fire because they can grab any object on the ground and chuck it at you. So it becomes a, a pretty intense helicopter firefight. Now to take out these hydras, you've got to stay in close with them. It's a risk-reward kind of scenario. If you go too high out of their range, they'll duck underground and you won't be able to destroy them. But if you come in close, of course you can take them out with your rockets, but they're going to be trying to take you out with cars and all sorts of other objects. Finally, please stop the emails. I can confirm that you can kill zombies with helicopter blades in this game.